Welcome back. We'll continue our video to discuss about completing the square, but now we are gonna try to solve a harder problem. Recall that in the previous video, the method of completing the square is to change this kind of expression x squared plus bx into a difference of 2 squared. Now, it is a common practice in mathematics to transform a problem into another problem that is easier to solve. So in this problem, we have the following equation and we know that the easier equation is when the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. Now how can we get rid of this 2? It is quite easy we just need to divide this equation by 2. So divide by 2. What do we get if we divide by 2? We get x squared plus 3x minus 1. I'm sorry. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3, negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half, equals 0. Now, we succeed to transform this equation into another equation which is equivalent to the previous one, but now the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. Therefore, we can apply this identity. 2x squared plus 3x. So apply this identity to x squared plus 3x. So apply to this guy. What does it say? So x squared plus 3x is equal to x plus half of b. In this case our b is positive 3. So half of b will be 3 half squared minus 3 half squared okay so this difference of square is replacing x squared plus 3x but we still have that negative one half is equal to zero okay now we can simplify x plus 3 half squared is equal move this to the other side while we expand it so 9 fourth plus move this to the other side one half so we can simplify this nine fourth and one half into eleven fourth okay so we have x plus three half squared is equal to eleven over four therefore x plus three half is equal to plus minus square root of eleven over four which is one half square root of eleven. Therefore, x is equal to move this three half to the other side. We have negative three half plus minus one half times square root of eleven. Okay. So let me repeat the idea. The idea is to divide by the coefficient of x squared. Why? because we want to make the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. Once we have the coefficient of x squared equal to 1, then we can apply the previous method, which is replacing x squared plus bx by a difference of 2 squared. Okay, let's see another example. So write in the vertex form y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 again we want to make x squared plus bx appear in this function. But here we have 2 instead of 1. So to get rid of that 2, we can divide the equation by 2. So divide by 2, we have y over 2 now. Not longer y, but y over 2 is equal to x squared minus 3 over 2x negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Okay. Now once we have 
the function in this form, then we can apply this identity to x squared minus 3 half x. So what does it say? We can change this into a difference of 2 squared x plus half of the coefficient of x. So half of negative 3 half will be negative 3 fourth squared minus negative 3 fourth squared minus 1. Okay, let's simplify. y of 2 is x minus 3 over 4 squared minus 9 over 16 minus 1 and 1 is 16 over 16. Okay, now we can combine this to fraction into negative 25 over 16. So y over 2 is x minus 3 fourth squared minus 25 over 16. Now we want to change back into y. So y is equal to 2 times x minus, so we just multiply both sides of the equation by 2. If you multiply the left hand side by 2, we get y, and so on. Okay, 2 times of this minus 2 times of that, which is 25 over 8. So now we are done. So this function is in the vertex form. And in particular, we can extract the information about the vertex of this parabola, which is 3 fourth comma negative 25 over 8. Okay, so let me review again. So whenever the coefficient of x squared is not equal to 1, divide the equation but by that coefficient and then apply this identity like in the previous video. And then just follow all the steps all the way to the solution. Okay, do you think you understand the method? Okay, so I will give you an opportunity to solve the problem by your own so you can pause the video for a while and then try to solve these exercises. So the first one, the first two problems is solving an equation and the second, the last two problems is about changing the parabola into a vertex form. Okay, so again let me repeat the idea is so, for example, to solve this, divide the equation by 3 and then apply that identity. For this one, divide the equation by negative 1 to get rid of that negative 1 and then apply the identity. And similar to this problem, to get rid of that 5, divide the equation by 5. Similarly, to, s to work on this problem, first you divide the equation by 2. Okay, now you may try to solve these four problems and if you want to check whether your answer is correct or not, you can post your solution in the comment section. I will wait for your answer. See you later.